everybody says that my hero academia is me so today we find out why the correct season five timeline so the first like little training arc my villain academia what is this part and then the endeavor agency and then the movie bro why do y'all hate the endeavor agency part bro the endeavor agency part was just not that bad bro if we being completely honest like i feel like actually i actually feel like it could have been fleshed out a little bit more my villain academia also could have been fleshed out more but y'all just be dick biting bro honestly. studio bones decision making in mha season five has been interesting important backstory showing the struggles the main villain endured throughout the story 15 minutes of Endeavor having flashbacks we've seen six times. That is not true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. I got. I, I take that look. I take that look. I, I take that look. I take that look. How can y'all say that it wasn't good? It was good, bro. It was good. He over there going through some shit, bro. Like he need his redemption arc, bro. Y'all, we don't act like he don't need a redemption arc. Like let's be honest with ourselves. My hero academia hate is forced on Twitter. If you hate it, then stop following it and commenting because all it does. It show how shallow you are. Oh, how shallow you are gonna go for club. I just think people don't have a mind of their own and like to, you know, make their own thought about something. Because I feel like if you actually, if you watch the show, bro, you could watch the show and then feel the way that you feel. But don't tell me you only watch five fucking episodes and you feel as if the, the whole show is mid. That means you didn't watch it. That's just, that's the exact same way of somebody saying One Piece is me and all they know about is how many episodes I have and they never watched it. That's the same thing about Naruto. It's the same thing about any anime. If you haven't actually watched it, how, you, how can you actually have an opinion on it? You get what I'm saying? My Hero Academia is so good when you don't have people in your ear calling it mid. <laughs> It's like other shonen. I don't care. Facts though. It's it's facts though. It's facts though. If you're enjoying the show, bro, why would you want somebody in your ear calling it mid the entire time you're watching it, bro? Like you're fucking up my experience here. Hardest pill to swallow. My hero academia is mid as fuck. Can we talk about bleach though? Let's go talk Long Beach Griffey. Can we talk about bleach though, bro? Like we if we want to have a mid off here. If we want to have a mid off here. Some guys on here be like, oh, you like my hero academia? I mean mid hero academia. Her her her. You need to watch more anime. <laughs> you know nothing, loser. And then you click on their profile and their tweets be like, hello, well, no way Attack on Titan is a shonen because it's dark. If I go to your page and the only thing it seems like you ever even watched is Attack on Titan, bro, are you fucking serious? Like, are you actually fucking serious? <laughs> she said, My Hero Academia is coming back mid anime, but I still love it. You know what? I give it, she be shy. Right. You know what I'm saying? You still call it mid for no reason. I feel like you threw that mid in there just to, like, you know, be funny about it, but like, chill, chill, chill. But hey, she said, I still love it. You know, that's how a lot of people I think feel. Y'all like calling it mid, but y'all finna y'all not gonna miss a single episode. Y'all gonna watch all of season six, and then y'all gonna bad mouth season six, even though y'all enjoyed it. Stop playing, bro. All right, we got ten worst things about My Hero Academia, but we can't we can't help but love. So we are talking about it's bad, but we still love it. All right, this by this by this by CBR, bro. Let's see, Izuku Midori is a crybaby. Y'all don't think them emotional scenes is like prompted? Like we you don't think them is okay, bro? I feel like Deku go through a lot, bro. Let's fucking talk about it. He break his arms every single time he decided to use his power before he was able to start using it though he is now every time he had to fight a villain these villains were actually trying to kill them they went shigaraki hero killer stain overhaul are we serious bro this is all people that tried to kill him these aren't people who was about to let him go it was a, it wasn't a mickey win none of that they were gonna kill him bro like this was bad for him in the entire class shoto todoroki standoff behavior he really don't got no standoff behavior for real bro like he really just too cool for niggas you know he just he just too cool for niggas i thought we all came to an agreement. Kasi Bakugo's terrible attitude. I thought we came to an agreement here. Bakugo is like that because he wants to be the best. Now he an asshole, but the only person that he's mean to is Midoriya. The only everybody else just make fun of him. They talk about how how he always angry. Like nobody actually cares about how Bakugo's attitude is. I don't know. It's just him, bro. He got a terrible. He do got a terrible temper and a terrible attitude. Like it's just what it is at this point. Endeavors attempts to atone for past wrongs. I don't feel like he deserves atonement for real. For real. He's a he's a fuck up. Like he a fuck up as a dad. He's a real fuck up. But as the number one hero, bro, let's be honest. He deserves a little leeway when it comes to be trying to be. The number one hero you know <laughs> plus ultra is nothing special <laughs> it's not they just be talking about shit. hey but look it's it for when it's in any emotional parts though yeah 
Yeah, some characters lean too much on their inspirations. I okay, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. Everybody got their different motivations for why they want to be a hero, and then they get these super power ups. Like I'm gonna be a hero. Yeah, I understand. I understand. There are training montages, and it says shown in anime is famous or perhaps infamous for endless training montages and sequences, such as Naruto Uzumaki taking time off to learn yet another jutsu, or Ichigo Kurosaki fighting for three days nonstop to finally unlock Bankai. My Hero Academia follows this tradition. It really don't be training, and I would I would say training montages more lean on. Oh, after this, they're gonna have a crazy power up when Deku was having might have was having training montages and wasn't even able to use his powers yet. I think I, I think it's different, bro. There are filler episodes. Just skip it. The fuck? The school life genre keeps nosing in. After after the overhaul and then they started doing the, the festival and all that shit, and they was gonna be a band and all that shit. That was a lot. I ain't gonna lie, that was not warranted. We didn't need that. A little bit of school though is always kind of nice, bro. It's always kind of like nice when they when they go to these high highs, they're still high school students, bro. So at the end of the day, coming back down they gotta go to class and shit like that like i feel like it's it's warranted to bring it in it's just not you don't gotta keep you don't have to overstay a welcome and the end of season four overstayed this goddamn welcome number one the bakugo shoto izuku trio overshadows everyone else that's because they're supposed to um on one hand izuku bakugo and shoto are three of the most powerful and popular characters in this series and it makes sense to put them front and center in season five in the world heroes mission movie these characters have earned it but all this comes at a price focusing on this dazzling trio means neglecting the other characters whose character arcs are also worth pursuing such as ochako suyu tenya and even Kurashima. but usually they show everybody like even when even when you show like oh we date how they've been doing they used to go and show how other people are progressing and getting better in the movie even though we were following bakugo shoto and deku they will always show flashes of what was happening all around the world because the entire class was all helping at the same time so you can still see it i feel like that actually might just be the part of the story that we end right now because it's obviously will at some point we'll go back to showing the entire class so but I think everybody's kind of progressing, bro. Like even even in season five, but the main trio is the main trio, bro. Like I can see them all being the one, two, and three hero like one day. Like let's be honest with ourselves. But I think season six will be a change up, bro. If you like this video, bro, check out this another another video right here. It's about the big three. I'm out, bro.